And there's the starting five for the two teams. For the Steelers, it will be Chimenga on top and Phil Marcus, who you mentioned, Ilya Ting, and Isaiah Briscoe. Have to pick and roll, so you know you'll see a lot of that this season. Little mid-range pick and roll with Zokoyer dropping one in with the right hand. The first two years of their team existence, but last year that title belonged to the Braves, who were shuffling all kinds of guys, even if it was just one game. As the first basket is in, looks like an errant buzzer as a missed shot from the outside and a quick push up ahead. Simpan going to the rack and laying it in. That's exactly what we want to see from Simpan. Do it any way, trying to apply pressure. No changes yet. As Marcus getting one of his first touches, finding the way to the rim and laying it in. Yep. So. A quick 2-2-1 pressure by the Steelers yields Winston's classic bank shot from mid-range. That's the Winston I know. Briscoe got a lane and the late whistle and one. About three and a half minutes into this preseason game as a slip pass to Briscoe outside to Kirk and will get the friendly bounce. That's three. Slight bit of motion as a ball screen with Winston will yield Walter's deep shot and that's good. For the Steelers, Briscoe and coming to the ball, Chimaga. There are only two imports active for this game and even registered for the preseason as a big rainbow from up close is good. That was a tough shot. It was contested by Chip. Inside pass and a nice feed by Josh and Walter slams it home. Always a joke, unfortunately, about Taiwan basketball. That one gets away and uh, keeping it inbound and slamming it is Ollie Daniels way to be one. The only player we haven't mentioned is Cincinnati University's Yoaiza. Eagle Lake stars as KJ knocks it down as Briscoe tries to draw two. Jeff Wu all over him, but doesn't have the size as Briscoe easily getting a foot in the paint and the fadeaway putter. Wow, that's a... Long Kair is swatted away by Jeffrey as the defense by Zhang Hao Sun. So a little five on five as taking a fadeaway himself is Walters who takes a tumble. Braves are chipping away at this preseason lead, and Zong Tao Sun will perhaps get the assist of Ali Daniels. Two points. Risco in the game, and running point again as it goes to screen as Marcus runs to the shot, and a beauty from the left wing. Not that we would say your height determines everything, but right. for a guy of his size, you would think he'd be a little bit better. A little back pass as Walter takes the contact and lays it in with the left. A guard out of Taiwan Normal University as Hamilton leaks to the basket. And the Braves maybe say three. That you can play on your 14-man active roster. And for today, they have three as Winston slips behind. And always not an easy bank shot, but... Number 42, Wang Kair is back in as they go back to Briscoe and maneuvers around one and gets it off the glass. And the Steelers have a uh, numbers opportunity. No good, but Chimaga would be tough and lay it in as the Braves. So we'll stop for the Steelers. Briscoe crossover dribble looking for a pass. Nobody available as Timpan launches it and bang! Is, um, you know, foul trouble on the foot. You know, the average 5.9, that's, you know, just would-be layup takers, would-be dunkers at the rim as Daniel from deep. But I kind of figure as Chimaga will look what I found, dunk two more. The guards, you know. A tap pass and it's Jeffrey. A couple of guards to beat, he's hung on to and won. With the right-handed layup. Walter is not looking to move, but a nice handoff and a tic-tac-toe play where it's Jeffrey getting the dunk, but quickly up the other. Able to rush the pace and 
Now the Braves with a fast break three-pointer. KJ, his second of the day. and off the backboard. Marcus showing off those. Get it to fall. Pretty decent move as running low on time. It's Maya swirling in the three. And a time will expire. Screen. They kind of have a switch. Yoway bringing it and laying it in off the glass. That'll come in time. Open up to Yoway's game, but from about 15 feet in, he's pretty good. And Tunfan with a nice clutching layup right down the middle. JJ out to Walters, and that one's wet. He'll give and go, stuffed. A lot of jump passes and a nice find by KJ to Jerry. And now Coach Joe has seen enough. <laughs> KJ thought about it. Down to Walters, and that's good. Ali Daniels with the foul on the uh, Plus League uh, YouTube page and on social media. Yeah, that's, that's one of the games that we don't want to remember. Let's go ISO on the right again. Right in the paint, touched up, and count it. Yeah, has got to watch his fouls, so same thing for KJ, you know. Yeah. He got to play tough too. And uh, Briscoe, from the other wing as he buries the triple. The Braves will get it up ahead. Sounds like, yeah, back to Jeff, flying around and swatted out of bounds. As the uh, Braves ship up into man defense. They're still hesitating. Now from the free throw area, hits it. Hamilton at the top. KJ on the curl. Stopping, popping, turning away with a set jumper. Got it. These imports and um, veteran local players. So it'll take time to adjust to it. Taking it strong to the rack is Walters. Up in his afternoon shooting the basketball. Going the other way. Ty wants it open. And after a nice pump fake, we'll lay it in. Admit it, it is your building. Yes, I'm joking. Light Tegan will start things off at point for the Braves as Hamilton will take a set shot at that six. Steelers 5 of 25. Physical play by Hamilton and uh, the Taiwanese basketball fans and the coaching staff and the players want. Historically, we've been a 31% three point shooting island as answering the call is. Let's go down low to Ollie Daniels who hurts himself on the dunk. Up. Marcus with an open look from the top. Got it. An easy baseline out of bounds look. One thing we notice is in the third quarter, Isaiah Briscoe had 14 out of their 18 points as a nice swish will be committed on the defensive end, even in speed mismatches, swirling in and out as a uh, Braves offensive rebound. Tylenton going to the reverse. Lighting good on the inside, the scoop layup, no. A bad fortune with the Braves in that side hoop. How about Winston unorthodox? He's known for it. And that's what makes the game more interesting. For sure. To walk this big back pass as Tywinson ended up on the hardwood and a reined in three by Briscoe. An overpass on the inbound, now a three on two. Tim Fenn with two hands for safety. That's two points for the Steelers and the Braves are finally going into their bag of timeouts. Tim Fenn with an open look and hits it. 
field goal is going to be big. The way that these teams have not gotten that much rhythm thanks to the uh, intense defense in the fouling as TJ answers back from the baseline. Both Hawks joining. Their point guard in Kumal will be playing the same league. Baseline pass and a reverse layup made opportunity. Daniel can't keep up as Hamilton will get two points and Daniel's not on the same page as Grace pushed up ahead. Skip pass, Walters got the room and hits it from the right corner. Walters now has 28 on the board. Simfan feeling it. He downs another three. Cruising down the middle and slamming it overhead. Jeffrey Whitney with his best. Coach Maga is in. As Briscoe isolates on the left side for once. His fadeaway jumper too easy. Trying to go down low. Where they were at a mismatch. Weird defensive alignment as Tanyoe slices through the paint. And this time, crashed into by Tanyoe, but a free man on the right block. They're covered up brilliantly. And now Hamilton goes with a speed move on the baseline, but they cut it off. Jeff Wu from the right hits it. Green right. Briscoe stays with his man. The fadeaway jumper. How did he do it? For the Steelers, we got about a minute left in the ball game. Hamilton beating his man and then getting it on the second effort. As Green as Briscoe sticks with him, forcing the tricky dribble and the ball gets away. And the Braves pick it. It's KJ, leading stealer of his last season in college, and it paid off here. Little back and forth pass as Hamilton might have put this one. He'll get it back on the handoff with a leave of space. Got the shot pick up. The key three. No. Still two good seconds left as Marcus will lay in the two. Point one seconds and the clock will expire. So considering the look they had on the last possession, I would say Swift did a pretty decent job getting an open look. The Braves maybe count themselves lucky, but credit to them for fighting hard in the second half to win the ball game in the end. They def Braves definitely pick up their defense.